another guy that's going to be a free agent. He's going to be a restricted free agent this year, but I want to talk about him. And he plays that forward position, that 3-4. He's kind of known as a 3 and D. He plays for the Utah Jazz. I'm talking about Fontecchio. He's 6'8", shoots 45% from the field, 40% from three, 79% from the free throw line. He does a little bit of everything for the Utah Jazz. He's more than just a shooter, though. This is like he's a willing defender. He makes strong cuts, finishes well at the rim. He's willing to make that extra pass. He can put the ball on the ground. That's what I like about his game. And I think if the Pistons really are interested and getting rid of Boyan this offseason, Fontecchio could be a good replacement for Boyan. Now, I don't think he, he's not going to give you the same production. He's not going to give you 20 points per game like Boyan does. But as an as another outlet for Cade and Jaden Ivey, as they drive, as they kick, this is a guy that can space the floor. Again, willing to play defense. He can attack closeouts. He's a strong finisher at the rim, and he can get to the free throw line. He is a little bit older. He's 28, but you could get some, you get a few good years out of him. He's also on the Jazz, where they do play more of a team friendly game of basketball, which I think that's what the Pistons are ultimately trying to do. So, Fontecchio, I really like him for the Detroit Pistons. Now, I said, he is a restricted free agent, so the Jazz could match any other team's offer. But if you're tr- but if you're Detroit, you might be able to throw him a little extra money where the Jazz are like, you know what, we're good. I do know that Fontecchio has said he would rather stay on the same team and his wife is tired of moving. So maybe the Jazz, they have that upper hand there. But this is a guy that I really do like, and I think he is – you might have to slightly overpay for him. Just That's the thing that scares me, though. I know that the Pistons have a ton of cap space going into it, though, but I don't want to overpay for him. I don't know what that number would be. I think $20 might be really high, but if you could get him for eight, nine, maybe even $10 a year, which I think actually is – pretty reasonable the jazz would probably just sign him if that was the case but if the if you're the pistons and you can get him there and you know you can sign him that would be a great deal for fontech you i really think he could help this team out there is one more guy i was looking at in free agency and that's jalen smith from the indiana pacers i believe he's only 23 almost 24 years old plays that four and five spot he can still spread the floor i think he's shooting close to like 48% from three, which is just honestly insane because the year before, that is not what he was doing. So this year, yeah, he's shooting 49% from three, which is just unreal. 49% from three and 2.4 attempts. Career averages is 33% on 2.3 attempts. I think that's an anomaly. I think he's closer to probably like 34, 35. He only plays 18 minutes for the Indiana Pacers. Now, he does play a good majority of his minutes at the five spot. But look, we got Mike Muscala coming off the books. We got Gallinari coming off the books. Troy Weaver and the Pistons think Isaiah Stewart is a starter at the four spot. So why not go after Jalen Smith, who could back up Duran at the five. Let me see something real quick from this free agency list. I just want to see if he's under restriction or if he's like an unrestricted free agent. I just got to bring him up here for a quick second. But I do like Jalen Smith. I really do. I've liked him ever since he was with Phoenix. This was a guy that I really wanted the Pistons to get in on that trade even before Duran was here. I just I saw I was watching the game when they were playing against the Boston Celtics and he was able to switch on some guards and make them uncomfortable. That's something I want. Now maybe he's looking for a starting role in the NBA. I'm not sure. But dude, if he wants to come to Detroit, that would be kind of nice. Oh, so he has a player option for 5.4 million. He's a guy that I could easily see backing out 
of that because he is only playing 18 minutes per game only played 18 minutes per game last year. He's going to be still playing behind Miles Turner. Maybe he wants an opportunity to be a backup on another team. I don't know. I'm just kidding. This dude is probably, there's probably no chance Detroit gets him. If anything, this dude is probably looking for a larger opportunity somewhere else. And just by his numbers in 18 minutes per game, he's probably going to get in, probably going to get a nice payday from another team out there. So even though I like Jalen Smith and I would love to see him in Detroit, I think you got a better chance at going after Fontecchio than you do Jalen Smith. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I do appreciate everybody that has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate it.